fascination with uh, log cabins and wooden houses. What I started doing is uh, I would get in touch with the city council and anybody who's pulling down any old structures. I was not mortgageable, so I would not have been able to walk into a bank, get a mortgage. The frustrating thing was there was hardly anybody I could find in Africa who was doing this. So all of them were quite, you know, in Scandinavia, Europe, America and such. Uh, but it still gave me the knowledge that I needed. Here I am now like a renowned log cabin, wood frame house contractor that I've completely learned from Google and YouTube. Getting the confidence and doing the fast cabin, I did something else that I, I accidentally stumbled upon on YouTube. I, I saw guys moving houses and buildings and it's funny because there's a cabin we used to admire in a certain neighborhood in Nairobi. It just hit me that I could actually buy this cabin that we loved so much that was going to be crushed. So I pulled down this cabin, moved it, you know, numbered it, you know, uh, indexed it, and, and moved it. But then I didn't have the time or funds to, to do it. So I parked it in my yard for about two, two and a half years. Now, three months ago, I started putting it up and uh, it's almost nearing completion. Where do you go to school for that? <laughs> other than the school of Google and YouTube. I don't have any other school I would imagine where I would go to learn how to move a house. One thing I would do is actually put up a small little center, you know, less than eight computers, ten computers, and the community can come and learn there. It means that we would empower this community there and, you know, would end up having a symbiotic sort of community that is now more knowledgeable because of the power of this internet that we're going to have there.